Hello. In today's video, we shall learn in detail about genus Nostoc, which is a photosynthetic cyanobacterium. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding about classification of Nostoc, its structure, modes of reproduction, and its ecological importance. Let us start with the introduction to Nostoc. Nostoc is a genus of photosynthetic cyanobacteria or blue-green algae. They are prokaryotic, filamentous, unbranched algae. They perform photosynthesis and are capable of fixing nitrogen. Next, let us understand the classification of Nostoc. Nostoc falls under domain bacteria as they have prokaryotic cell structure, thick cell wall made up of peptidoglycans and an incipient nucleus. Membrane bound organelles are absent. It is placed under phylum cyanobacteria, order Nostocales, and family Nostocaceae. Genus Nostoc shows numerous filaments embedded in a gelatinous sheath. Next, let us look into the habitat and distribution of Nostoc. Nostoc are found in a variety of environment. They may be both terrestrial and aquatic. They are found mainly in fresh water, as free floating, or may be attached to a substratum. They are also found on tree trunks. Nostoc azole forms symbiotic association with water ferns. Nostoc punctiforme forms symbiotic relationship with anthocerous. They are also present as an endosymbiont to fungus. Next, let us study the structure of Nostoc. Numerous filaments of Nostoc are found embedded in a gelatinous sheath as a colony. The unbranched filament is contorted and consists of chain of oval, spherical or cylindrical cells. They are called trichomes. The filament or trichome may contain thick walled specialized nitrogen fixing cells called heterocysts or thick walled resting cells called akinates. The mucilaginous sheath acts as a protective layer. It is made up of polysaccharides and proteins. It helps in absorbing and retaining water. The cell wall of Nostoc are thick walled due to the presence of peptidoglycan. The cytoplasm can be differentiated into outer pigmented chromoplasm due to the presence of peripherally arranged chromoplast and an inner colorless clear cytoplasm known as centroplasm. In the chromoplasm are present various pigments like chlorophyll, phycocyanin, phycoerythrin, and also proteinaceous cyanophysine granules and cyanophysine starch granules. The centroplasm contains incipient nucleus and DNA which is devoid of histones. By the way, if you are getting some value out of this video, please like and share the video so that all of us can learn, unlearn and relearn together. Also, 
please consider subscribing the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of all the upcoming videos. Next, let us understand the different modes of reproduction in nostoc. Vegetative reproduction in nostoc is with the help of hormogonia, heterocyst, and akinates. The trichome generally breaks at number of places and the small pieces are called hormogonia. This may be due to death and decay of an ordinary cell. The trichome may break where a heterocyst is united with a vegetative cell. They move out of the mucilaginous sheath and grow into a new plant forming new colonies. The heterocysts are intercalary in origin and occur at intervals. They possess a very thick outer wall. Each heterocyst is connected with vegetative cell on both sides through prominent pores in the wall. Later, a polar nodule is formed. The heterocyst germinates to form new trichome which are finally liberated. Heterocysts contain nitrogenase enzyme and are the sites for nitrogen fixation. Akinates are known as resting spores. Cells become thick walled due to accumulation of food. They can tide over adverse unfavorable conditions. Akinates have the ability to withstand desiccation for long period of time. During favorable condition, they germinate and give rise to a new trichome. Finally, we shall look into the ecological importance of nostoc. Nostoc have the ability to fix nitrogen with the help of enzyme nitrogenase. Therefore, they are used in paddy fields. Nostoc play an important role in soil formation and also increase the nutrient value of soil. They help to fix atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. Nostoc help to add organic matter in the soil and increase fertility. Nostoc are rich in proteins and vitamin C and are edible. They are also used for bioremediation of waste water. Nostoc can convert carbon dioxide to biofuels. They perform photosynthesis and are considered as the chief producers of the biosphere. So today, we have learnt in detail about structure of nostoc and also its various modes of reproduction. I have some practice questions for you. Please share your answers in the comment section below. You can pause the video and write down the questions if you like. Thank you so much for your time and participation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of all the upcoming videos. Also, if you want to discuss any particular topic in biology, please mention that in the comments section below. I'll see you there. Goodbye. All the best.